Hey YouTube, I want to tell you about the computer that I got to replace my old one. Now I'm going to show you some details as far as unboxing that's going on here and uh, we'll talk about it a little bit. So we'll, we'll go to that and then we'll come back and uh, I'll show you some differences on these laptops that I noticed right away. Okay, so here's the laptop. UPS just delivered it. It's ice cold. Uh, <laughs> it was cold outside, so I expected it to be pretty cold. Um, I'm going to be taking it out of the box here, showing you what it looks like, uh, the accessories. Uh, the first impressions is kind of interesting that the top is aluminum, and so is the keyboard facing all around the chiclet-styled keyboard. Uh, this laptop is an Asus ROG GL551JMDH71. Operating system, of course, Windows 8.1, 64-bit, uh, something to get used to. I was running Windows 7 before on my other laptop. The processor is an Intel Core i7-4710HQ, 2.5 gigahertz. The display, which is smaller than the Toshiba, is 15.6 inches. That Toshiba was 16 inches, not something to be concerned with. You can't even tell. It's a 1920 by 1080 uh, anti-glare display on the Asus. The graphics card with the Asus, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 860M, 2 gigabyte. The memory is 16 gigabyte DDR3. The storage is a one terabyte hard drive. Now you also have a choice of going with the Asus uh, EH74. That one's going to give you 256 gigabyte SSD if you want to try that. has a red backlit keyboard and uh, comes with a one-year international warranty and a one-year accidental damage. Now the Toshiba that I'm replacing, which was a very good computer, uh, just couldn't handle the, uh, the, the editing that I'm doing at this point. It had a uh, Windows 7 64-bit, the uh, AMD Finon 2 quad-core mobile processor, 1.6 gigahertz, 2 megabyte L2 cache, or cache. AMD chipset with ATI Mobility Radon HD 4250 graphics with 256 megabytes. Um, allocated share graphics memory to help it out with the uh, quad core to get a little bit better action out of it. 500 gig, 5400 RPM uh, hard disk. Um, the display again was 16 inches. It was a TFT LCD display, 1366 by 768. Uh, native res uh, native support for 720p, of course, and uh, built-in Harman Kardon speakers with uh, advanced audio. And I tell you, I really miss the speakers. Uh, that's the biggest thing that I'll have to say between the two that I'm disappointed with. So what I'll do here is go ahead and shoot back to the video, and we'll uh, take a look at what I'm finding between the two and my thoughts about the two side by side. So we'll go to that now. So you've seen what it looks like whenever I first got it out of the box. Uh, I pointed out some of the things that I noticed right away. Uh, it was, it was kind of cold. That was interesting. However, now that I have the two laptops side by side, I want to show you basically what I notice is the difference. Now, first of all, this is an older laptop, and I've had this for some time, and it's been doing a pretty good job. It's been old faithful. However, it lags whenever I do video editing. And now that I'm getting into the uh, PowerDirector 13, the Ultra version, um, I noticed that it lags even more. Even though I streamlined this and I did everything I could uh, as far as settings to make it move as fast as possible, uh, it would still lag. And if you notice, there's a couple of videos that I did just recently that there was some green uh, screen instead of having actual video there that was caused during rendering. So I knew it was time to upgrade. It's been time for me to upgrade. Before it was just an inconvenience. Now it's just not working the way that it should. Uh, this Toshiba is a uh, lesser quality as far as the screen resolution. However, it's been really good for me. Um, it has a, a different type of screen than this other computer, uh, which I'll go into, you know, the Asus. Um, it, it reflects more, but I've been really happy with it. It's got excellent speakers. It's Harman Kardon speakers. And uh, as far as touch, uh, it feels really good. Uh, it's a 16-inch screen. Um, it's just been a good computer overall. It's just time that I got into something else to help with the video editing only. So now I have this Asus computer and I've gone over some of the details uh, already. Uh, the first thing that I really noticed as far as comparison, and you can see from this other shot that I'm going to do, 
I've had this computer for a long time and you can see the wear that I've had on this keypad. It also has a scrolling keypad with separate buttons. I don't know if I like this keypad yet. And I know I don't like the way that the finish looks already. I'm not real big on cosmetics, but I've never had a problem with cosmetics. So now that I'm seeing this, I wonder what it's going to look like after five years. The keyboard feels good. It's got good sensitivity to it, but I don't like that the, the touchpad, it doesn't have a scroll. I'm sure I could do something to change that. The buttons are, you know, integral with the uh, touchpad. They seem to work okay. I've gotten used to it. Um, I'll probably end up using a mouse because that's what most gamers do. I think that's why I didn't spend so much time uh, on the touchpad. Uh, as far as sensitivity, it, it's pretty good. Everything's, you know, fine there. The speakers on this thing suck. I, there's just no two ways to say it. Uh, they, they, they play. They're relatively loud. Um, they're not as loud as these, and they are definitely not as good a quality as these. I guess I should have expected that because, again, gaming, that's what this laptop's really made for. Um, you know, those guys usually use headphones if they're really into it. Uh, at least one earpiece with a mic or something. Uh, the uh, webcam on this one was never very good. I hardly ever used it. This is a 720p. I might try to incorporate more uh, of the video shot with that on uh, future videos. So we'll, we'll see how that works out. I don't know what the uh, frames per second is that that shoots at. So I'm going to have to look at that to make sure it don't conflict with whatever I'm shooting with on my cameras. Uh, the other thing is, is this runs really cool. I haven't had a problem with heat whatsoever. Uh, the Toshiba always runs a little bit hot uh, as far as just the way that the, the air is coming out of the side. If I get real heavy into uh, editing, um, the, the heat that comes out the side, I mean, you can feel it. It's not overheating, but it's pretty hot. Um, the little bit of video editing I did with this one, uh, the Asus, uh, man, is it fast. <laughs> I, I just can't believe how much time I wasted with this uh, Toshiba on, you know, the 130 some videos I've done over the years and uh, how slow it was and <laughs> how much lag there was. I just got used to it. You know, it's kind of like having a car that, you know, you push on the gas to get out in traffic and sure it goes, but it takes its sweet old time. And then you get in something that you push the gas and you're up to speed immediately. That's what the, the Asus is. Uh, uh, the, again, everything looks really good on this. It's kind of hard to compare as far as the movement within the operating system because this is a Windows 7. And, uh, of course, this one's an 8.1. So I had to adjust the screen resolution because in my uh, Google Chrome, whenever I'm surfing, I noticed that the text and all the pictures and everything was just a little bit smaller than what I was used to. So I made that adjustment, uh, which is a setting in Chrome that you can zoom all your pages in. I zoomed them up to 150, make it a little bit easier on my eyes. <laughs> and uh, other than that, it's been spectacular. So basically what I'm telling you about these two laptops is this. If you have something comparable to a satellite A665, which again, this was a really good laptop whenever I first got it in the day and I read the specs off to you what it was. If you're just looking at doing video editing for YouTube videos or for whatever you've got going on, a blog page or something, go ahead and pick this up. You'll be happy with it. It's just much, much faster. So I hope that I added this down to where it's a little bit more comprehensible. Again, click the link down below. It's going to take you right to uh, this laptop. Compare it with whatever they have on that site. And uh, be rest assured, if you choose Amazon for the purchase or Amazon Warehouse, that if you do have a problem, they're going to take care of it for you. So I appreciate you watching my video. And hopefully this has helped you out. And uh, continue to watch LeboView for more videos just like this one. Thanks. Bye.